Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we've got a real special episode. We're going to do Clan Wars and we're going to do it live. I'm basically going to take you guys into my clan, Unity Elite. You guys are going to see my first attack in the Clan War and then I'm going to show you guys some clan mates attacks, some really great attacks that they've done already. Now we're only a few hours into the war so far so things are just starting to heat up but we should be able to find some good action here. You'll see here I have a go wipe army. Um, I've got a bunch of balloons. Those are going to help me lure the clan castle and hopefully kill it as well. So we're attacking this base, number nine right here. Let's do it. I'm psyched. This is awesome. So we've got everything we need. I always like to double check once I'm in the raid that we have everything we need. Looks like we have heroes, clan castle, and spells. You know, that's the worst if you get into a clan war raid and you've forgotten something. So always double check. Like I said, we're going to use these balloons to lure the clan castle. We're going to use five of them. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That should lure this clan castle. If not, I might throw down a few wall breakers to help as well. Let's see here. Towards right now, let's throw a wall breaker. Um, looks like we got a witch that came out of the clan castle, so that basically means we've got an archer and witch clan castle, and we've got it all lured out. So let's get this clan castle up top here, and we'll take it out, hopefully, with this one balloon that we've saved. This is a good trick to do, guys, if you're up against ground troops in the clan castle, and you have a balloon, you can just, let's see, hopefully this will work, you want to drop this balloon right in front of these troops, that balloon will target the next... Yes, it worked! <laughs> Oof. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. I mean, I've done it before, but you never know. Sometimes it just doesn't quite hit them. So, we're going to start up at the top here. My troops just have to take out that witch, and then they're done. So, let's get going. We're going to drop wizards behind these golems to start taking out buildings. We want to uh, have everything taken out so our troops don't get distracted. Right now, we've got to get in this base and take out this archer queen real quick. Looks like our troops are going straight in. That's good. I've got to keep this uh, single inferno frozen. It's not a huge threat, especially if I keep it frozen. It won't be a problem at all. We're looking real good right now. I'm not sure if we're going to break open the core or not. Looks like we didn't. Oh, we did. So we won't need the jump to get into the core. We may just save it to get out of the core. That's always the better way to use it. Um, it can help you get a three star so we're gonna use the bar king ability right here he's in some heavy buildings we also use the archer queen ability looks like we're nearing a two star here I'm not sure if we have the steam for a three star looks like the archer queen got hit big time so she's going down she is down but we did get the two star and I'm psyched about that uh, two stars are usually sufficient to win a clan war and that's what we've got here so we're going to let our troops run around just a little bit. We've got a Barb King here, and I think there's a P.E.K.K.A. with him as well. Uh, P.E.K.K.A.s and Barb Kings, they make a great team. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A. is gone, and there goes the Barb King as well. So all my remaining troops are just cleanup troops. We're not going to three-star the base with them, sadly. But this was a fun raid. I'm glad we did this live. And I'm glad I didn't fail. It was awesome. <laughs> all right, let's get out of this raid and... Uh, see how our clan mates are doing in their raids so as I said this is the first uh, well we've only we're only a few hours in here and my clan is an international clan and um, you know as you can tell the other clan Arabian Shield there they might all be from the same country but usually most clans are international so not everybody starts raiding right at the beginning of the war they're often spread out over at least 12 hours so you don't really know how good the other clan is until at least halfway through the war. That's typically typically how it goes. All right, guys, check out this awesome attack on the second guy in their clan. It's um, Zombies here. He got a 75%, so this has got to be a good raid. Let's check it out. All right, what does Zombies have here? Oh, we are going to see a hog raid here. This is awesome. All right, he's dropping a few giants. This is a very common base. Um... It might be slightly changed from a very common design, but basically everything looks similar. So he's probably familiar with this base. He's probably attacked it before, probably in this exact same way. So he knows he's going to be able to hog this base, probably from the top here. What I'm thinking he's going to do is kill this clan castle, 
Then, use those golems he has to get his Archer Queen and Barb King down into this compartment. They're going to kill the enemy Barb King and Archer Queen. And then, he will be able to freely drop his hogs and uh, maybe even... Well, and I know he's not going to 3 star because we saw the result, but he's going to get a pretty good raid here. So, let's check this out. Alright, as I said, he's got uh, a golem in the front. Looks like two golems actually. And his heroes and clan castle behind. They're going to come in here and challenge the Barb King and Archer Queen. We've got a hero fight. Woo! I love hero fights. You guys know that. This was a very unfair one because they had backup troops. But uh, nonetheless, it was still fun to watch. So, uh, I think he's going to start dropping the hogs soon. Here we go. Alright. Let's watch these hogs closely. Uh, he's going to have to drop a heal spell soon because he's going to start hitting the Inferno Towers. So the Inferno Towers started reaching him. He dropped a heal right there. Looks like he's going to have to freeze. Yep, he froze the Inferno. He does not have Rage Spells. Rage Spells help a lot with this army. They would help his hogs get through that core faster. But he's opted to just use heal spells. That's cool. Uh, it's up to him. Looks seems to be working really well. He's taken out both Infernos already. This is awesome. Oh, he almost went down right there on a bomb. Looks like he has no heal spells left. So his hogs basically down for the count right now. Oh, he has a little group left here, but they're not going to do a whole lot. Looks like only a few. Let's see what they can do. He does still have a half health on an Archer Queen. That's pretty good for a level 40 Archer Queen. She can do quite a bit on her own. So the last hog just went down. Um, Archer Queen has taken out the last few buildings. Let's look here. Oh my, he only has one defense left. This is crazy. He took out the whole base except for one defense and then a bunch of other random buildings. I did not realize he was this close uh, as I was watching the raid. I guess this base is definitely weak to this style of attack. There was a lot of the defenses up in this top compartment here. And uh, his heroes took most of them out. So after that, the hogs just had to take out the core and a few other things. Bummer, 75% so close to a 3-star. But really, he was he was quite a ways away. He would have had to take out that last defense, and uh, then he wouldn't have had enough time to actually get all the buildings. But uh, great attack, zombies. You did a great job there. It was an excellent try. Looks like he did have a raid spell. I just didn't see him place that. But um, yeah. That was a great raid. I was real psyched to show you guys that. That's awesome. Alright, let's uh, check out what else we can find. I think we'll see some other good two stars here. Who's that? Uh, that's B-Ball. That is uh, Ron. Beaker, we already saw him. JG, let's watch uh, Ron. He's one of our um, he's one of our higher guys. Let's uh, watch him. Alright, we've got... Um... Alright, looks like a... Go wipe raid. He's not going to lure the clan castle because he's already dropped his golems. It's a little risky, Ron, but let's see how it works for him. Uh, we know he's at least going to get two stars, so let's see it. This uh, town hall is offset, meaning the clan castle is totally in the middle, and that can be a wicked pain, so that's why he didn't uh, lure the clan castle. It's so hard to lure one of these clan castles, you'd probably need um, a lava hound or something. So here, he has engaged the clan castle troops. He's throwing mad freezes everywhere. He's now actually used all of his spells, but that's okay because he's already got the town hall. This was a pretty smooth raid. Wow. Um, you know, he's slowing down now because he's hitting heavy buildings like the clan castle, the infernos. Um, he's, he's running into walls, but there it is. The two star. Barb King is still going with a P.E.K.K.A. Arch Queen's about to go down, but man, this was a strong raid. Good job, Ron. This is this was fun to watch because you know it was a little risky just going in kamikaze without uh, preparing by luring the clan castle, but uh, he was confident in it and he got it. He got it. Good job, Ron. A lot of wizards there. Three golems. I love the three golem army. It really helps protect all those wizards. You know when you have three golems really uh, shielding for them. And uh, almost max heroes, look like Ron is one hero level away on the Archer Queen, and then he is maxed. Good luck with that, man. So, as promised, that was two raids from my clanmates and one raid from me. I might do my next raid in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys like this, this style of uh, live clan war raiding. If you did, drop me a like, leave a comment about it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.
Peace.